All right, I'm going to show you how to recover your MySQL databases from the MySQL data files. Um, this can be very handy if your server refuses to start and you need to recover, but you can still get the data files. Um, in this, I, I like to use, for doing this, I like to use um, a virtual box and do a fresh install of uh, Ubuntu and then um, then go ahead and start from there. Once I get my data files, um, it's in the uh, etc. var, I mean uh, var lib mysql, and that's this directory here. I can open it up, and I have my databases that I had um, on there, and then in those are the uh, all the data files. So we'll close this for a moment. Now I like to do things using a graphical user interface, so. All right, this part's optional, but if you'd like to go ahead and install this, if you don't have it already installed, you can go ahead and pause your video and do the steps listed below. And whenever you get finished, um, you can resume the video. All right, so now that we've got that all set up, we want to go ahead and um, start working as our sudoer. So we go sudo ss, and that'll keep us logged in as the root user. Um, then we'll go cd var lib mysql and do this right here and we can see where um, we have no databases um, except for mysql that's the only directory uh, slash database so what we're going to do we need to go we need to copy recursively and then we'll use the little squiggly sign the tilde and backslash desktop um, mysql and then we set a urls space and then since we're in our mysql directory we're going to just say period forward slash urls forward slash and then press enter all right. Now what that should have done, um, we can go open up PHP My Admin. So we'll go to localhost, PHP My Admin, log in. All right. And now you see we've got our database. It shows up. Now the problem is we don't have any data tables, so. Well, it's because we haven't set our permissions yet. If you look, look at the permissions again, and then you'll see that root user owns that and not MySQL. Change owner, MySQL, uh, recursively, and then URLs. All right. So now what we'll do, we'll go ahead and click this again and now we can see our database tables at this point you have access to all your data again and then you would simply click export select all your tables add create procedure and go down and then simply click go and then save the file and just like that now you have your, uh, your database back and you can take that data file now and import that into your new database and so that's how you recover your databases from MySQL data tables I hope that's been helpful